having a wonderful day so far. Today we're going to be testing out different recipes to make butter slime. So the other night I was on my phone playing on Instagram as I usually am every night before bed and I came across this picture and it looked like butter but the caption said slime on there and I was like, huh? Butter slime? What is this? So I watched the video and it was so mesmerizing. It was this yellow butter slime that spread so beautifully and I was just watching it in awe. The original poster on Instagram was OG Slime and this is not the original video, but watch this. Butter slime. And so today I'm gonna try to make it for you guys. I don't know if the recipe is gonna work out or not. I got a couple recipe off YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram, and we'll see how it works out. So in front of me are all of the products that are going to be used to make butter slime. We won't be using all of them for one recipe because we're gonna be testing out multiple recipes. So of course we're not going to be using this flour, that's just my health decor. Um, we have cornstarch, shampoo, it doesn't really matter which brand, shaving gel, lotion, once again it doesn't matter which brand, contact solution, it doesn't matter which brand, food coloring, in our case we're going to be using yellow because we want to make it like butter. Something to mix with, you can use a spatula or popsicle sticks. Blue, white model magic, stuff flow liquid starch, and last but not least, baby oil. So the first recipe is one of the easier ones. We will need blue, food coloring, yellow, stuff flow liquid starch, or you can use Thai detergent and bottle magic. So first off, we're gonna add glue. Next, we're gonna add this yellow food coloring. Now we're going to add the Staflo liquid starch, but remember, if you're using this or Thai detergent, just to add a little bit of a time, mix, and then add more. Now we're gonna add a little bit more, and then mix again. Now we're going to add our model magic. We're going to add the same amount as we have slime, same ratio, and mix it up. It's kind of hard to mix with a spoon, so I'm just gonna use my hand. Ooh, slimy. Texture right now is really wet. I'm hoping that this model magic will make it more matte and butter looking. You guys, this is so entertaining and satisfying. The texture is amazing. The color looks just like butter. And it's just so wonderful just looking at it. And the recipe was so easy. You can definitely do this with your kids, your niece, your nephew, your brothers, your sister. I bet you they would be in love because I'm in love with this. And I'm an adult. So here we have for comparison. We have regular butter and our butter slime. Look at that, it looks super similar. All right, let's test it. I got my butter knife. Ooh, okay, let's try to spread it. Wow, that was just like butter, I love it. Let's try another recipe out. The next recipe we're going to test is from Karina Garcia, and this recipe does not require model magic because I know that in some areas you can't purchase model magic, and it doesn't require glue. 
So here we have baby oil, cornstarch, shampoo, and yellow food color. Let's get started. So first we're going to add cornstarch. Next, we're going to add shampoo. Make sure it's an even amount of shampoo to cornstarch ratio. Then we're going to mix. It should end up being like a toothpaste texture. Oh my god, you guys, this smells really good because of the shampoo. So, so far, it's like toothpaste. It's slimy, like regular slime. We're going to add our yellow food coloring. And then a little bit of baby oil. Mix that. So right now it kind of looks like melted butter. Like I can't believe it's not butter. I want it to be a little bit more thick so I'm gonna add some cornstarch. But I will say that this is the best smelling slime ever. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm cooking because this looks like butter and flour because it spreads just like melted butter, but it smells really, really good because of the shampoo. All right, I'm gonna take it out now. Oh my, this is soft. So here we have our butter slime that smells super good compared to the regular butter. Okay, time to try to spread it and cut it. Okay, that's one piece. So that actually spread pretty nicely, just like butter. I like the texture, but I will say this one's a little bit messier than the first one. Let's try our next recipe. So our next recipe calls for cornstarch, shampoo, yellow food coloring, baby oil, and staph clove liquid starch. Let's get started. First, we're going to add our cornstarch. Next, shampoo. And we're going to mix. This one, once again, will look like toothpaste. Next, we're going to add some glue. what is going to make this one a little bit thicker than the last one. Ooh, look at that. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of baby oil. You can use baby oil or lotion. And also yellow food coloring. We're going to mix. Now we're gonna add some of the liquid starch. 
Remember, you can use Tide instead of this, but just add a little bit at a time, and then mix, and then continue to add more. Mix and continue to add the Staffel liquid starch until you have the consistency that you want. Ooh, look at that. This is like really melted butter. I feel like this consistency is very liquidy, so I'm going to add more cornstarch. of this one. All right, I'm gonna take it out and get my hands messy now. Look at that. It smells super good. Look at this. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> I'm having so much fun playing with this. It's mesmerizing, like I said. So here we have our real butter and our slime butter for comparison. So now let's cut it. And now let's spread it. All right, for our next recipe, we have glue, shaving cream, yellow food coloring, contact solution, and model magic clay. So first we're going to add glue. And then twice as much shaving cream as there is glue in the bowl. And then you're gonna mix, but whoopsie, I kind of bought blue shaving cream, so we're just gonna have blue butter. Consistency here is pretty foamy. We'll see if it changes in a little bit. This does smell really good though. All right, so I guess we're gonna add this yellow food coloring in. and then some contact solution. Mix that together. Ooh, look at that, it looks like whipped cream. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I just wanna rub it all over my face. Amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna add our model magic clay. So here we have our model magic clay, and I'm just going to add some of this foamy green butter, I'm gonna call it, onto it, and mix it together. <gasps> Making a mess. So it was very moist and liquidy earlier, but I kept gnawing it like this, and it's more solid now. I added a little bit more yellow food coloring to get it close to the butter, but since I accidentally bought blue shaving cream, this is the best that it's gonna get. Still super fun to play with. I really like the texture of this one. It's very clean and doesn't stick to your hand. I think because of the model magic, it helps out a lot. So here we have our regular butter and our butter slime. I'm sorry this has a little bit of a green hint to it because I accidentally bought blue shaving cream, but if you're trying it at home, make sure you get white shaving cream. All right, let's cut it to see how it looks like. Some butter and let's spread it. I 
think my favorite recipe is recipe number one because it was super easy to make and it spread just like butter and it's really fun to play with. Um, four was really great too and it smells really good. I think my least favorite was recipe number two. It kind of, it, at this point, it's kind of like dried now because of the cornstarch. Um, I may have gotten the proportion wrong, but according to my trial here, I like one and four the most. This was recipe number one, two, three, and four. Alright beautifuls, that includes this do-it-yourself butter slime video. Leave a comment below to let me know if you tried it out or which one your favorite butter slime was. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram at Life of Princess Tea. Remember the O and of is actually a zero. And also, like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of this beautiful family. Always remember to smile because you're beautiful. Bye beautifuls, love you guys.